Hi, this is Matt Arbeiter, TC Fit Physical Therapist, here to talk about myofascial release with a lacrosse ball. Sometimes you can use a tennis ball. Personally, I like using a lacrosse ball simply because of the density and the, the technique I'm going to show you against the wall, the stickiness of the lacrosse ball, we're able to enhance this technique a bit more. But again, if that's all you have handy as a tennis ball, feel free to use that. Today, what we're going to be releasing is the gluteus medius and the piriformis, and those are muscles that lie, lie along our lateral glute. What we're going to do is get into a position where we have our hips about 45 degrees in relation to the wall. I'm going to take the lacrosse ball and put that onto the wall and then pin that lacrosse ball onto the wall with my glute. From that, you can notice that I have a wide base of support through my legs, kind of an athletic stance with my knees bent. And then I'm going to roll around to find an area of interest in through that glute. I'm looking for what some people call a trigger point or a tender point, an area of the muscle that's a little bit more tender than everything else. Once I find a good spot, I'm going to pause on that spot. Then what I'm going to do is I need to relax my glute on my left side. So I'm going to gently lift up my heel on that side as a way to relax that glute. From that position then, I'm going to drive this leg a little bit harder into the lacrosse ball till it gets tender. And what I'm looking for is a 50% reduction in that tenderness. If that happens, we're going to move to a new spot or we can continue to press on that trigger point. If there's no change in 30 to 60 seconds, move on to a new position. Afterwards, feel free to do a little stretching. Look at some of our other videos for other release techniques and stretching techniques as well. We'll see you next time.